Hey all and welcome back. I'm finally making YouTube videos again and I'm starting out with kind of a special one. This tutorial, this video is about ArtRage Mobile. I'm painting on the iPad Pro using ArtRage. It's like a super cheap app on mobile and it's amazing how much parity it has in form and function to the desktop version. Specifically today, I'm gonna to teach you how I painted this painting, um, a beautiful sunset urban environment um, working on capturing shapes of light, abstracting, minimalistic, um, looking for the big ideas, but trying to capture kind of that like dynamic essence in the photo. So what I did is I painted this once in ArtRage Mobile, once in ArtRage Desktop, and I'm going to show you at the end the comparison between the two. So here we go. Uh, first thing I did is I used a 2000 by 2000 pixel canvas, and I... Um, I just kind of left everything pretty much standard after that. And uh, here's the time lapse of the process. First thing I'm going to do is get the brush as big as I can get it. In mobile, your brush size is limited compared to the desktop, but you can still get a good size brush. Rumor has it, this might be a feature that's changing. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. But um, as it is, Canvas size and brush size work in tandem really well for mobile. Um, there is room to expand that definitely for updates and on, on definitely iOS, but I would imagine on Android as well. We'll see what happens with that. But as, it, as I said, um, it's even though it's not as big, you can't go quite as big with your brush strokes on mobile, you can see that I can still get a nice big brush stroke. And I'm trying, though, to capitalize on that limitation slightly by um, boosting the the variety in in the direction and size and style of stroke. So you can really activate all those big shapes of shadow and highlight. Um, what I'm trying to do here is find a way to get a little bit of soft edge in that background, kind of push that back a little bit. And then in the foreground, what I want to do is capture as in as abstract of a way as possible the shapes of the cars, the shapes of the shadows of the rear fenders and and trunks, the the highlights in the and on the top of the hoods, and then the the tail lights that are illuminated, and kind of how they those line up with those abstract shapes of the road reflecting that hot sunset in the sky. That was what really, really drew me to the picture, and I felt like Art Rage would be a really natural fit for describing all of that with big bold strokes. You can see me finding just um, examples of, of highlights, uh, colors, and shadow colors, and just laying it all in in, in a really kind of bold and aggressive way, um, leaving it as, as simple as possible. I think that simplistic, dynamic, angular approach is, is not only fun to look at, but very appropriate for this subject. Um, it just had that energy, and I felt like um, Art Rage really let me lean into that and, and find that expressive stroke and give this piece a unique voice exclusively through the brushwork. Um, I also just, you know, just I made it a square because I was thinking oh, I'd be fun to share this on social media. So um, usually I do more like figurative and portrait at work, but I thought, you know, it'd be fun to put it on social media. And it was, you know, it was fun to share there, too. So um this is a piece that I instantly had people say, oh, I want to buy a print of that or, you know, and and I think it's because um, just the uniqueness of the of the composition, but also the bold brushwork really added into that compositional uniqueness gives the piece just a unique flavor. And um, I have to say thank you to Art Rage for, for a lot of that. But um, the little things matter here. I did a lot of the things with big, bold strokes, but it's, you know, a little... Um, stoplights and traffic lights and lines on the road and and little edgy reflections that give this sense of perspective and but it all lines up it all kind of comes together and then and i felt really satisfied with the mobile version versus the desktop version you can compare the two here the mobile is the one on the right and the desktop version is the one on the left um i think there are little things about each one that maybe i like a little bit better but overall i am very happy with with the kind of comparison. Um, they're both painted in like 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes uh, each. So very fast, very simple, um, no refinement, just sort of smash it down like a real plein air painting approach. But you know, you can look here and say, 
Uh, if you love the desktop version, I'm just trying to prove to you that even uh, before the mobile version is getting a, some, some significant updates, um, even as it stands, you can paint with, with parity uh, with the desktop app. And to me, that's game changing. You know, you can take the, the iPad to life drawing. You can take it to the mountains in plein air paint. You can take it to studio class and, and painting class or draw in your bed or whatever. Um, awesome. So thank you uh, for our age to make such an awesome app. And thank you guys for checking out the channel. Thank you, Patreon supporters, for not abandoning ship while I was away for like a whole month. Uh, thank you guys for checking out this video. Hopefully, 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 hopefully it was helpful. Thank you again. Take care. Bye-bye.